this is liver above the diaphragm there is thoracic case and below the diaphragm is abdominal cavity this part is the greater curvature from this greater curvature the greater omentum is hanging down from the greater curvature of stomach after retracting the greater omentum we can see the intestinal area this is the part of small intestine which is 6 meter long now we have to identify jejunum and ileum on my right hand there is a jejunum on my left hand it is ileum the jejunum occupies upper left part of intestinal area it starts from duodenum and we can see the duodenal jejunal fracture the ileum occupies the lower right part of intestinal area ileum constitute the lower 3/5th part of small intestine whereas the jejunum constitute the upper 2/5th of intestine now we'll see the mesentery which gives attachment to the small intestine this is the mesentery this is the free part and this is the fixed part the free part attach all the jejunum and ileum mesentery is a gateway for entering artery and nerve supply and exit of venous and lymphatic drainage root of mesentery is 15 cm long which is directed obliquely it starts from duodenal jejunal fracture on the left side till the right sacroiliac joint it crosses the following structure from the left side to the right side third part of duodenum aorta inferior vena cava right ureter and right swus major the fat is present in the mesentery let's differentiate jejunum and ileum we we'll compare this differentiation in this specimen of the small intestine that is present in the tray the wall of jejunum is thick and more vascular and the circular mucosal fold is large and more closely set whereas in ileum it is apart for greater absorption of the food that is present in your jejunum the villi are leaf like and more whereas in ileum the villi is short finger like solitary lymphatic follicles are fewer and the pier spaces is absent in the jejunum now we'll see the differentiation of the mesentery of jejunum and ileum after throwing the light we can see in the jejunum the arterial arcade are fewer that is 1 to 2 and the basa recta are longer the window is very prominent as the fat is less you can see these are the arterial arcade it is more prominent when you throw a light this are the vasa recta and it's very clearly seen whereas arterial arcade are in the lower area now we'll compare the mesentery of the ileum the vasa recta are shorter and you can see there are 3 to 6 arterial arcade more arterial arcade than the jejunum that's why the vasa recta are smaller the fat is more abundant so the window is less prominent the ileum is opening into the ilio posterior medial aspect of cecocolic junction below to the cecocolic junction this is the cecum part the cecum is the blind sac and it is the commencement of your large intestine above the cecum the ascending colon is starting now let's study about the appendix which is present behind the cecum in the right iliac fossa now this is the appendix appendix is held by the meso appendix in this meso appendix appendicular artery is present which is the branch of iliocolic or superior mesenteric artery there are various position of the 
appendix. In this cadaver, guess the position of this appendix. It is mediaminal or subsecum, that is 6 o'clock position. The various other position of the appendix are as follows. The second most common is the pelvic one. Among 30% of population, the pelvic position is present. And if it is facing towards the promontory, then it is called as promontory position. That if the base of the tip of the appendix is facing downwards, then it is called as medial position. The first most common is the retrocycle or retrocolic. That is among 65% of population, you can find it is a retrocolic in position. The appendix is warm like diverticulum arising from the posterior medial wall of cecum. The length varies from 2 to 20 cm and average of 9 cm in the length. Whereas the diameter is 5 mm which can vary with the ease. Now we will read about the other part of large intestine. From the ascending colon, hepatic flexor, transverse colon, descending splenic flexor and descending colon. Now the small intestine is 6 meter long whereas in the large intestine it is 1.5 meter long. But why large intestine is called larger though the length is smaller? It is because of the lumen. The longitudinal muscle coat forms the ribbon-like band called as tinea. The tinea start from the base of the appendix till the sigmoid colon. But in anal canal and the rectum, the longitudinal muscle is similar to the other GI part that is outer longitudinal and inner circular. As the tinea is shorter than the circular muscle coat, the large intestine produce plocoration or the ostration. In this specimen, you can see the tinea, which is glossy, shiny in appearance. Now this is appendices epiploica. These are small peritoneal bags, which is filled with fat. But it is not present in the appendix, cecum and rectum. They are for protection of the intestine. So the three cardinal features of large intestine are appendices epiploica, tinias, and the ostracean. Now this is the transverse colon, this is the small intestine, this is the descending colon, this is the ascending colon. Now this small intestine, this is the s sepid sigmoid colon, which is continue as a rectum and anal canal. This is small intestine, it is mobile due to presence of mesentery. This ascending colon is retroperitoneal and it is fixed. It is fixed to the posterior abdominal wall. Same as now let's study detail about the tinias. The tinea that is present anteriorly on the ascending colon, descending colon and the sigmoid colon are called tinea libra. But this tinea libra on the transverse colon is present inferiorly. You can see this tinea that is free. This is called tinea libra which is present inferiorly to the transverse colon. The transverse colon is intraperitoneal and this is the attachment of transverse mesocolon. The tinea mesocolica is present posterior medially to the cecum, ascending colon, descending colon and sigmoid colon. But tinea mesocolica is placed posteriorly in the transverse colon where there is the attachment of the mesocolon. So this is the mesocolon, this is the attachment of tinea mesocolica. This transverse mesocolon gives the free attachment to the transverse colon for its mobility and posteriorly it is attached to the body of the pancreas. It's called tinea omentalis. 
which is situated posterior laterally in the cecum. This is the sine tinea, tinea omentalis, ascending colon and the descending colon, sigmoid colon. Whereas this tinea is present anterior superior to the transverse colon. This is the greater omentum coming down from the greater corvus of the stomach. This change in the tinea is due to presence of this transverse mesocolon and twist in the transverse colon. The third and the fourth layer of the greater omentum meets the transverse colon in the anterior superior surface of this transverse colon. That's why this is present on the anterior superior surface of the transverse colon that is tinea omentalis. Tinea omentalis is present anterior superior to the colon the tinea mesocolica on the posterior to the transverse colon, whereas the tinea libra is inferiorly to the colon. So these are the three different type of tinea present in the parts of the large intestine. Now we can see this is the paracolic otter that is present laterally to the descending colon and also on the right side, this is on the left side, whereas on the right side there is also the peritoneal space that is the right palacolic order on the lateral side of your ascending colon. This is the palciform ligament that is present on your anterior superior surface of the liver. It separates the right part from the left part and this palciform ligament is attached to the anterior to the anterior abdominal wall till the umbilicus. In the appendicitis there is a maximum tenderness present on the magpornis point. It starts from the umbilicus to the right anterior superior iliac spine. From the medial two third, a line joining from the medial two third and lateral one third, this point is for the maximum tenderness during the appendicitis. This is called as magpornis point. Initial stays of the pain, it is present in the umbilical region, whereas later it gets concentrated in the magpornis point. This is the specimen of the large intestine swaying the ileocecal valve, which opens on the posterior medial aspect of your cecocolic junction. There are two lips of and the two frenula, the upper lip and the lower lip. Which the lower lip is longer and concave. The upper lip and lower lip forms fuse and forms the frenula, right and left frenula.